In history, wetlands are not protected. Wetlands were called wastelands. The description of the habitat was already its threat. You know, Uganda is called the part of Africa. What is the part? For me, I think it is the wildlife. We have got uh, about uh, 1,070 species of birds. About 230 of those species are wetland birds. This beautiful diversity of species is threatened because the habitat is going. The wetlands already had been drained. The forests had been cut down. That's where I started thinking something needs to be done. In 1994-1995, I was a member of a team that conducted the first wetland survey of Uganda. We identified conservation areas that were outside the main protected area network. With the provision of information, government came in and worked with us, and out of the 16 sites that were identified, now 14 of them have been designated as Ramsar sites. Ramsar sites are wetlands of international importance. He has been at the steering wheel for the designation of Ramsar sites. And this is not a very small achievement. Other countries have very few. But that is not enough. Designating an area without full protection doesn't actually protect the area. So for us as Nature Uganda, we did recognize that and saw it very early. And we thought the best thing to protect an area is to work with the custodians of those places. They're the people who will first be impacted when those habitats are gone. When the forests are cut down, they are the people to be impacted first. In 2006, about 7,000 hectares of the forest were being proposed for conversion into sugarcane farming. So he was key in advocating for a no giveaway of Mavira. And the forest, that part of the forest, didn't go to sugarcane. We know that there is another very big challenge. The climate is changing. When you want rain, it doesn't come in time. If we all do our jobs, if we all do our work, we have got a bright future. But if we continue to have these people who are doing not good proposals, then I'm worried that probably our children will read wetlands in books, will read trees and forests in books, because there will not be any forests or wetlands remaining. Uh, Chile is, is passionate about conservation. He has been instrumental in supporting young conservationists like myself. There are very many other young people that have been given the opportunity to develop their careers. Birds are very nice. They are, they are very beautiful. I, I loved them when I was still young. I used to go out and look for birds. In fact, I was arrested uh, probably about six times. They would not understand why a young man would be going around with the binoculars. I have never seen him even take a leaf. Even our honeymoons. Like honeymoon, maybe you will go to like London, or at least maybe Mombasa. But imagine we went to a national park. <laughs> I think we've done a very good job, but I think our target is to do a little bit more. We have lost enough. We cannot lose anything more.